Test, test, okay. So I'm drawing a horse. But in order to draw a horse, first I'll become the horse, okay? Before you paint the branch, become the branch. So I did a branch in the other video, so I'll just do a horse. I just thought of a horse. It could be anything. So I'll just do a horse. Okay, I am a horse. I see my image in my mind of a horse. I see four legs, a head. Horse is kind of a nondescript, gray, gray. Um, looks kind of like a mule. Nothing special about this horse that I'm looking at. Um, just standing there. Just standing there in my image. Couldn't be any, couldn't be any less interesting. This, just standing there horse. Okay, now let's see what I can do with that horse by becoming the horse. I am this horse that's standing here. I am standing here. And I guess I'm standing in some kind of a field. I probably am not standing in somebody's living room. And I'm standing in this field. And I look around. I see a sky, I see some trees over there, I see a fence to keep me in here. And uh, I'm standing here, I see some grass down there. At the moment I'm not too hungry, doesn't look too appetizing. Just ordinary old grass today, it hadn't grown very much since yesterday I chewed on it. And I'm standing here doing what complete, completely uninteresting thing. There's nothing special about this horse. But that itself is, is uh, something. There's nothing special about me at all. I'm just an ordinary horse standing there. I thought I was going to be uh, a great genius, but it turned out that at age 70 years old, in horse language, maybe I'm 20 years old as a horse. So I'm nothing special. I'm just an ordinary horse. Now that's kind of depressing, being an ordinary horse just standing here in the field, getting to the end of my life. And I'm just standing here. And I'm not doing nothing. And I'm standing here in this image. Now let's see if I'm this horse. Okay, how about I have a conversation with the ground. Ground, I'm standing on you. Grass, I'm standing on you. And I'm glad you're there to hold me up. Because if you weren't there, I guess I'd just keep falling and falling and falling. Uh, is it possible to fall any more than I feel falling now? Maybe I get it. I guess it is, yeah. At least you're there to hold me up. Horse. I'm the horse. Now, I'm the ground holding you up, horse. <clears throat> and you're not even moving. You're definitely a boring horse. I am this boring, boring horse. Even the ground doesn't find me interesting. I'm boring, and I hear my voice as a Nyeh. I have a boring voice also. Nay, nay, horse, hum, hum. I'm really a boring horse, and I don't, I'm just, uh, a boring horse is standing here, not doing nothing. Let's see if I could draw this boring horse, okay? Stop. Test, test. Okay, I'll keep now. I got a picture frame here. Got my Corel painter. I got a thick and thin pencil. And I'm trying to draw this horse, okay? So the first thing I know is I'm a super ordinary horse. Very, very boring. I'm just, so let's see, I have nothing special about me at all. So let's see, what kind of horse would that be? Nothing special about me at all. There's this un totally uninteresting horse. And on the grass, there he is. There I am. 
I'm standing on this grass, I better, f let's save this image, save as, save as drawing, horse. There is this totally uninteresting horse. All right. So now the grass says, all right, horse, you're so uninteresting. You could just stand here all day long and uh, nothing's going to happen with you. And then uh, the horse says, I am this totally uninteresting horse. I don't even look like much of a horse. I'm just standing here doing nothing and nothing and nothing. I may as well be like a dead horse. Okay, that's an idea. So how about I close this image, make a new, a new one. And all of a sudden now I'm a, I'm just laying on his grass because nothing's happening to me and I'm very bored and boring. And now I'm laying upside down on my back on the grass. How's that for being a boring, uninterest, totally uninteresting horse? Nay! And the grass says, well, you know, you're kind of heavy laying on me like that. How about you move over a little bit? So I gotta save this file. And the grass says, hey, move over. And I, I mean, like at least if I, I'm a totally boring horse, at least I can lay here on the ground without being bothered by this fucking grass that's telling me to move over. Come on, now give me a break. I mean, I got no, nothing to look forward to. Uh, my life is a total, total zero. No kids, no wife. No money, no job, 70 years old, and I can't even lay here on my back. You know, it says in the sitter, it says the gates, al uh, gates al Mavit. Here I am in the valley of death almost, you know, and I can't even lay on the grass, but it says in the, in the prayer that, I'm, you're gonna, that God's gonna give me a nice grass to lay in. And again, what is it? Something in that prayer about lay, have, being able to lay on the grass. So I'm just going to lay here. Well, I don't want to disturb you, grass. So what can I do? If I can't lay here, then I can go somewhere else. But then I'll, that grass might complain also. I'm really in trouble. I'm tired of standing up. I, wanna, I just want to curl up and lay down here. But the grass is bugging me. Oh, it's very upsetting. Very upsetting. I feel like I need to cry out. So I open my big mouth. Open my big horsey mouth. And I just want to let out a big howl, a big howl. Since I'm not accomplishing anything, I'm just sitting here on the grass. I can't even sit on the grass, so I got to sit in the air. The grass is way down there, and I'm sitting here. Okay, yeah, maybe if I sat on a cloud, the cloud would object also. So I'm just sitting here on nothing. I'm sitting here on nothingness, and I am nothing. I'm nothing sitting on nothing. Asach Gornisht. Oy boy. I'll save this file. Save as Asach Gornisht. Ow. Oh! Ah! Save. Okay. So here I am. 
Nothing sitting on nothing. Well, let's get rid of that picture. If I was nothing sitting on nothing, then I gotta make a new picture. And this picture, the paper color is gonna be black. Okay, I'm nothing sitting on nothing. So here I am, nothing, I'm just a black sheet of paper. Boy, boy, boy. I'm a black sheet of paper. And, uh -huh. I guess I'm still a horse, but I'm a nothing horse. So, hey, how come I can't draw with this? It just doesn't make any colors. That's black. Why can't I draw on this? Why can't I draw white on black? So, I figured out how to do it. Now I go back to Corel Painter. File New. This time, paper color is going to be black. All right. And I'm using India ink so I can draw white on black. All right. So I'm a nothing horse in the black, uh, on black on black, but I'll draw me a white, a, a white horse. White horse, let's see. And I'm laying here on the grass. Well, I'm not laying on the grass, I'm laying on I'm nothing, laying on nothing. Since I'm such a nothing, there we are, I'm nothing. Just a, a white, a white horse on a black, to be, just to be visible at all together. So now, all right. Now, since I'm nothing, well, what's, what's, how do I like being nothing? I am this nothingness. Now that's pretty heavy being the nothingness. I, I just got through some some tsum process here. I got rid of all my ego and uh, all my pretensions of doing art and just uh, I'm just nothing. Goinish, the sach goinish, nothing about nothing. So I think I'll save my nothing about nothing picture. Save as oops nothing horse white on black. Okay. So that, that's it. I'm a nothing horse and uh, nothing on nothing, just I'm in the void here. In the void, 70 years old and I got to nothing. I got to Gornish. Uh, comes to mind Helen. It's a relationship that led to nothing. After all these years, nothing led to nothing. Something led to nothing. Well, so that's nothing. But at least it's something led to nothing rather than something which is nothing. <laughs> Better to be nothing than to be something or something which is nothing. Okay? So here I am, nothing about nothing, 70 years old. How do I represent this idea of this horse? It's nothing about nothing. Well, I'm not even a horse anymore. I don't have that form of, of a horse. I'm just uh, nothing about nothing. So, if I'm nothing about nothing, I still would have this urge to represent myself somehow or other. 
give myself some kind of a form, but that's cheating. If I, then I have no form. So then I'll draw something with no form. That's what I'll do. I'll draw no form. I make it take a new file. Which will it be black paper? Okay, it doesn't matter what color it paper is. So here's black paper again. And this time I'll just draw a squiggle. There I am. Nothing. A squiggle. I'll call that squiggle. Save as nothing. Oops, not nothing. Squiggle. Nothing squiggled, but you know something? <laughs> I can't even be a nothing squiggle. I look at this thing, and holy shit, it's, there's, not, there's, not, there's no nothing here. It's, this squiggle is full of somethings. Let's see, I see, uh, I see a face painting, facing to the right, with some kind of a nose and uh, some kind of a chin. And um, let's see. I can give myself some features here. There's a nose. For example, I give myself some teeth. Okay, I got some teeth. And I give myself some uh, brown hair. And uh, green eye, hazel. Hazel is, is green and brown, I think. Isn't that what hazel is? Green and brown eye. I certainly don't look very much like a horse anymore, but I, I'm trying to get to the nothingness of this horse. And it's not so easy to get to, to represent the nothingness of this horse. There it is, my teeth. My, okay. So this is the same as uh, something face one, something face one. How do you like that? Something face one, get rid of him. Open recent, nothing squiggle. Now if I look at this nothing that I tried to draw again, let's see, this time, this time, this time, this time, it's a Rorschach test, huh? It's a Rorschach test. It's a Oh, I see another face. I see another face. This guy's got a beard. And he's got a nose and he's got a mustache also. And a mouth. And 
big nose and uh, I think he's got blue hair. Well, he must have brown hair. With blue in it somehow. And here's an eye. Red eye. And got a neck. Okay, so here I am. I tried to do a nothing. I ended up with another something. I tried to make nothing and I ended up with you. So what do you have to say to me now? I am this face, Franklin, that you drew. You were trying to draw nothing and you ended up drawing me. Ha ha ha. You, I fooled you. I am cleverer than you are. You think you're, you're drawing nothing and I sneak up on you because I came from the other side. I came from the other side, the right, the right side. Instead of the left side, I draw, came from, it's called Drawing on the Right Side of Your Brain, that book that Betty Edwards wrote, except I don't like the way that she, she teaches it. Betty Edwards, I don't like the way you teach that book. You, you're too focused on, on uh, skills. You not get the idea. Nachman Abreson says, a yid, anybody actually, needs to find the inner idea in everything. So here I was found the inner idea in this horse, which is you, guy. So tell me, now that I found the inner idea in the horse, what's the idea? What do you have to tell me? First of all, who are you? I am, wow, wow, you dream. <laughs> Excuse me. Chomp, 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 chomp. I got beard, like you have a beard. And um, well, my mouth is kind of closed here, so I sound like I got a funny voice. And um, well, <laughs> I have a kind of a wry attitude about the world with this kind of a mouth, you know, kind of slants. I look at the world, I'm looking at you, Franklin, out there, and I'm saying, boy, you're struggling to be nothing, you're trying to, struggling to be something or nothing, but you're missing the boat. It's not about something or nothing, it's just about being alive in the moments. This, see, I came out of the messianic now, out of that moment of not knowing. You discovered me, and look at this. I'm a new monad, a new idea. I have a new life. I got red eye and blue head, bluish, bluish brown hair. And I got a mouth that's kind of wry and ha ha ha, I'm looking at you and you're still stuck in your head. You think you got to enlightenment, but you're still stuck in your head. You're still stuck in your head, ha ha. You got a lot of learning to do, by guy. You're only se you're 70 years old, but you still got you still you don't have Alzheimer's yet, so maybe you'll you'll learn something else. But I want some success. Oh, don't give me that bullshit success. What's success? Well, you'll never have success, right? You're 70 years old now. You'll never have a house. You'll never have a job. You'll never maybe you'll have a wife. But you got me. You? Who needs you? Look, I'm a symbol. I'm a symbol of all the vast possibilities of your potential, of your messianic idea. So, uh, got to respect me. You see that? You try to make me out of make make me a nothing, just because you're feeling nothing. But out of the nothing comes me. Comes the infinite possibilities of new. Creativity, all bullshit, I'm still nothing. Well, you got some work to do on your, uh, on your nisham or on your soul there. But I think, uh, I appreciate that you gave me a chance to be here. 
with my nice whiskers and mustache. And so, um, hey, what's your name before I, before you go away? My name is. My name, uh, actually, I'm part of the name, so I'm part of ha the Hashem, the, the name. I'm just one toenail of the the big name. All right, I'm just one in fragment, infinite fragment. Of it. You you keep going, maybe you'll find some more of that big name. But uh, at least you're looking. At least you're looking for the name Hashem, the name. And I respect your search. We're up there seven years old, and uh, you know, isn't that wonderful? You still have you still have some life in you. You could still find surprises like me. So I'm I'm uh, Hashem. I'm an aspect of Hashem. Uh, Hashem. Uh, maybe my shame is. My name could be uh, Hoshi or uh, Hoshu Yehoshua. No, I don't want to be Yoshua. That's 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 that crowd. We don't need that crowd. We don't have to get into that. We don't have to be cultish here. I'm just the name in general. Not this cult. Not that cult. All right. So uh, that's it for now. Okay. Hoshi. All right, Hoshi. Bye, bye, Hoshi. I'll close your your case. I save you as, save as, Hoshi. Hoshi. The name. Well, I don't look, you don't look very much like a horse, I'll tell you. I was supposed to be drawing a horse. But look, Franklin, I am the inner idea of that horse that you're trying to draw. See, you, that you trying to draw a horse, and that horse was just, could be, is anything. You just pick anything, right? Right, I picked anything. So I am the inner idea of anything. Hashem. The inner idea of anything is God, or the big idea, or the idea. The inner idea of anything comes down to the same big idea. All right, at least that's the philosophy anyway. That's the prayer, isn't it? The great name, the great name. So everything, every other little prayer, every other little thing we do is just uh, an aspect of the big name, the big idea. So I, I'm just a pointer. I'm pointing to the big idea. And uh, because you're on the right track, you came across me, you know. Makes me think of a story about... Uh, makes me think of Nachman Abresov's story about the lost princess, you know. So, um, the big name, God, <coughs> gets upset about uh, his representation in the world, the princess, the Shekhinah, and he tells her to go, go, go get lost, and she gets lost. And so then the prince, who's the messianic idea, potential messianic idea, starts searching as long as he thinks he's going in the right direction, he can't find anything. But the moment he gets totally lost in the desert, then he finds, uh, he starts finding the clues. So you see, you had to get lost to the nothingness in order to find me, the, this clue. And I'm sure, if, I think if you keep looking, I think in the Nachman story he says, well, if he finds one giant, the giant, first that giant tells him to go find another giant. And so I'm, I'm one of the giants along the way that you found, and I'm telling you to go find the next giant, and the next giant, the next giant, and that way you'll be on the action, you'll be on the way. How's that, huh? See that? So we drew a horse, huh? I'm going to draw, draw another, okay, you can erase me now, since I'm just one 
I'm going to allow you to race me, all right? So bye-bye, Hoshi. Okay. Now, open a new picture. Should I be black? Well, I'll try a different color paper. Try white paper now, okay? All right. There we are. Do I have any other ideas or am I finished? Let's see. My objective was to draw a horse. A horse. You know, he even looked like a horse. He even looked like a horse. I want to get that guy back again. He seemed like a pretty intense individual. Let's get rid of this one. Let's go to recent. Hoshi, do we want Shoshi? No, we want some, the nothing squiggled. The basic idea that he came out of. Let's see, can you be a horse? Can you be a horse? Yeah, you can be a horse, can't you? Can you be a horse? Yes, you can. How about that? You can have horsey ears and you can have horsey teeth. And you can have Well, somehow or other, I imagine you, this time, as though you have some kind of a bit in your mouth. Does that make any sense? That somehow or other, there's some kind of a rider. If you're the horse, then there's a rider. Does that make any sense? A rider? You look like a horse, and there's a rider. In that case, who's the rider? I am the horse. Franklin, you drew me on a horse. <laughs> you drew a horse, and, and who's the rider? I am pulling along the rider. I, let's see now, I am this horse which is the nothingness horse and the nothingness horse is pulling along the rider, right. I am the way, for me, you could get an idea what the rider is. The, I get an image of the um, of the Merkava, the, the uh, vessel, the thing that, uh, the chariot, that Ezekiel sees the chariot and that thing, the Kabbalistic uh, ra horse, uh, God sitting on the throne up there. And this, uh, so I'm the horse pulling that throne, and one of those chayot, one of those mystical creatures pulling the throne. Okay, if I'm pulling the throne, And I'm a pretty important horse. You are a pretty important horse. Okay, you're a horse. You kept your own many eyes. Let me give you some eyes here. Eyes. And nose. And um, we got a mane. All right. And you got a little body. Oops, that's a mistake. Don't want that one. Okay, so now you are the horse pulling the Merkava. The Metatron. So 
So we save you as, save as, same as Chayot. Chayot. Those are the creatures pulling the throne, pulling the, the chariot, heavenly chariot. The wheels, the wheels that turn. Okay? Chayot. Chayot horse. Chayot horse. Okay. Chayot horse. So I finally drew a horse, and I drew the horse, that's the chayot, one of the chayot. So I drew all the chayot. So I, I'm like Ezekiel here, looking at the, the chariot. Here I am. Ezekiel looking at the chariot. Ezekiel looking, looking at the chariot. I'm sitting here. I got brown here too. I'm sitting here in my green outfit. And I'm looking out up there at this huge horse and this huge chariot. How's that? So I drew a horse. Ah, I did it. I drew a horse. Okay. Now how does this comp horse compare with the horse that that uh, Betty Edwards wants you to draw. Very different horse, huh? Very different horse. Aha. Uh -huh. And she could, she's going to say, frankly, you're just horsing around. Uh -huh. You're not really drawing. Well, maybe you're not really drawing, lady. Or maybe you're drawing a different way, okay? I'm drawing, you're drawing, I'm drawing the idea. You're drawing the klipa, which suggests the idea, but uh, I think I'm drawing more the real horse. Well, again, everybody has their own opinion. What's the real horse, all right? Who's horsing around, me or Benny Edwards? If anyone, if I ever put this thing on the net, then we'll let you decide, okay? This looks very interesting. Maybe I'll put this on the net. Okay, that's, I think I'll stop here. Okay, bye-bye. Stop.